today I thought I would film a quick video on how to determine if a Patagonia is fake or not. Um, I have seen fakes out there, but I have also touched a lot of real ones and sold a lot of real ones at this point to be able to determine what are the things that determine if it's real or fake. So here I have a Patagonia Cinchilla snap tea and I actually had someone on Facebook send me some pictures of one that they were going to buy on Facebook and they said is this real and I said no cancel your order um, and it just happens to be the same color as one that I have so I'll put pictures up here and compare them. So at first glance the coloring of both of them is pretty accurate like if you saw someone wearing that on the street and you didn't know that there were fakes out there you'd probably think it was real. Um, but if you're a reseller, you probably want to like pay more attention to the details. So the big giveaway there is that those buttons are shiny. These ones are a matte purple that matches the lining here. Um, but I wouldn't say that buttons are the end all be all because sometimes these buttons can come off and people can replace them. So that is one thing to look out for. That's usually a big giveaway. Um, but there are maybe like a very, very small amount of times when that's not the only thing. So next, um, kind of hard to see in this photo, maybe I can zoom in. The logo is slightly different. And the thing with the logo is Patagonia has changed their logo several times. Um, so here I have more of a vintage one and a newer one. Maybe I'll have to put a photo in here. Um, but you can see that like the font is slightly different. Also, I think size wise, they might be like very, very slightly different. Um, but the one in the photo, the giveaway here is that it has white stitching around it. And even on this older one, they always have black stitching around them um, so that the stitching isn't super visible and stands out. So then if we go to this tag on the inside, um, it looks cheap as hell, <laughs> sorry. But um, one thing here is that the size says small slash medium, the M is kind of worn off. Um, Patagonia doesn't do that. They, it's usually like extra small through, I think I've seen a double XL. I don't know how far exactly they go. Um, certain pants or other things will have like numbered sizes, but it would only ever be like small or medium. It's not gonna be small slash medium on anything that's real. And then again, their tag there has the white stitching around it, which shows that it's fake. Um, Patagonia has changed their tag style though. So sometimes they have this block part here and then underneath it, they moved where this was. It used to be like a white tag stacked on it. I'll see if I have a picture of that. I don't have one right now in my <laughs> inventory that's like that. Um, and then it'll say like women's medium or whatever. Sometimes it doesn't say that. Um, those are still real. It's just a different era of tags for them. So don't worry too much about that. Um, so those are the big things I would say from just looking at those photos. I'm sure feeling it in person, it might feel different. Um, one thing that I will say about the cinchilla is that often these like bottom hems, I don't know what it is. They get destroyed from some people. So they're like ripped apart, falling off. Um, so that's not necessarily a sign that it's fake, um, just that it's been very well loved. <laughs> um, so I've seen this fake a couple times. There's also like a kind of like brown tan colored one that I've seen fake, but I don't think I've seen any fake ones that have been patterned yet. They could be out there. Um, and then this is the better sweater. So I've only seen one fake better sweater and I'll try to put pictures of it if I can. The tags were all like spot on. Like it looked like they had cut off tags off of real ones and then like put them on that one. The only thing that I really noticed was the material, which is going to be hard if you haven't sold many of these before, or if you don't own one. Um, but the material was just much thinner than it should have been. And then I think there was something off with the pocket. So on the women's better sweaters, they all have this pocket on the sleeve. Um, on the men's, it's on the chest. So that's one thing to look out for. It's not like, they do have different variations where sometimes instead of like a full zip, it's a quarter zip or a quarter snap. 
Um, so those things are usually all the same, but I've never seen any variation in that extra pocket that they have on the zippered better sweaters. So all of that to say, I hope this helps. Um, if you're wondering about your item, you can DM it to me on Instagram, but if I get a ton of these, you should probably like Venmo me a dollar as well. Um, <laughs> or I accept Cash App, I accept PayPal, so whatever you wanna do. Um, just because it is going to take my time and I have just laid out my entire process for you all. So thank you all for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe.